Hello everybody out there on the interwebs. My name is Coach Jeff and uh, I got a question for you. Could you use a little bit more motivation? I got another question for you. Are you somebody that seems to keep falling off the bandwagon? Is that person that you're watching this video, you don't want to be like other people, right? You're destined for greatness. You have hopes and dreams and goals in which you wish to achieve. So the whole point of my video today is to number one, educate you on what goals are, right? And then to also show you how to set very realistic goals. Now, before we get too far, when you think of a goal, maybe you think of it just as this one thing that's static, right? Rather, a goal is very dynamic, okay? And it's split into two different sectors. The first sector is an outcome-based goal, okay? Let's say that is the granddaddy, the top of the mountain, right? So for you, maybe it's a 50-pound weight loss or maybe it's a six-figure income. What qualifies an outcome goal is that you don't have any control over getting it right? Meaning that you can't control um, your metabolism. You can't control how you know, fast you're going to metabolize fat or build muscle. You can't bestow the wealth gods upon you to just say, boom, here's your fat bank account, right? That's what an outcome goal is. And that's what most people think of, right? Now, it's very nearsighted because most people don't really understand the behaviors that it's going to take to achieve their outcome goal. So the second part of a goal is the behaviors and thus the most important because what qualifies a behavior goal is that you have complete control over the behavior goal. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna keep this simple and effective. The first thing you need is paper and a pen, right? I actually used a marker here to make it more visible. Um, but you need to figure out, number one, what it is that you're after, what it is that you really want, okay? Um, so for here, you know, for simple purposes, okay, this is my outcome goal that Coach Jeff wants to achieve. I wanna lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks, right? Uh, because I know that by losing weight, um, I'm going to be less at risk for heart disease, which uh, my dad died of at a young age, obviously using this uh, you know, as, as an example, okay? So it's, it's, it's timely, it's specific, it's measurable, and it's very significant to me, right? It's gonna get me out of bed every day, and when stuff gets rough, I'm gonna wanna stay the course because of the importance, right? So you list the outcome goal first, okay? Once again, this could be health, this could be finances, relationship, whatever. It is. Now, the second thing you want to do here, people, is you want to write out your limiting factors, okay? Go with your top three, okay? So, my first limiting factor in this situation is I have too much junk food or processed food in my cabinets, in my fridge, in my freezer, okay? I already know that if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it, okay? The second thing is I know I don't eat breakfast. If I do, it's maybe once or twice a week. So, I know skipping breakfast is not going to get me to my weight loss goal very quickly, okay? And then the last limiting factor I have here is missing or just not doing any exercise during the week at all, okay? So after you have exactly what it is that you have wanted here, okay, this is your granddaddy, uh, you know, the coupe de gras, the outcome-based goal, then you need to list the things that are currently holding you back, right? Okay, now the third and one of the most important parts, okay? So once again, most people, when they set goals, this is it. It's just number one. They don't even talk about what's holding them back. Once we have this down, now we know our three behaviors that we're going to need to undo or to overcome our limiting factors, right? So my first limiting factor was too much junk food in the house. So obviously my first habit, what I have complete control over is to remove all junk food, right? From the cabinets, from the fridge and freezer and replace with whole minimally processed foods, okay? Now, my second one is I'm dedicated, I'm determined. So I, my second behavior is to eat breakfast every morning for the next 10 weeks. So that's 70 breakfasts I'm going to eat, right? And the third one, right? This is to make five workouts a week, right? Whether in the gym or in my house, whether that means going for a walk or doing a body weight circuit in my apartment or home, I am going to knock out five hours of exercise a week. All right, now you're not done yet, guys, because it's very important that when you're starting a journey or even when you've one, two, three, you know, four or five months into your journey, maybe even years, that you be reminded of the things that you need to focus on. So a good practice is, let's say it's day one, right? It's Monday morning, you're waking up. I want you to read over your goal sheet, right? Your outcome goal, uh, your current limiting factors and your behaviors. Read over that thing 10 times every day. 
you know, for the, maybe the first three or four days, right? You don't need to do that every day after that, but it kind of like ingrains in your mind, like subconsciously ingrains in your mind the motivation and the inspiration that you're going to need to trudge through the harder times and to make those adjustments. The next one is to keep this with you, right? So um, if it's on a piece of paper, fold it up, stick it in your pocket, right? Uh, maybe you're out at a company dinner or maybe somebody catered something in. Oh my God, they brought brownies. Nope, not eating brownies today. Do that enough times and you best believe you're making steady progress towards your goal. Now, once again, I alluded to that goals are not static, but yet very dynamic because you're going to achieve goals and then you're going to need to set more goals. Or maybe the time frame that you set was too lofty or maybe uh, you know too easy. So you always need to revisit your goals maybe every couple of months to make adjustments, right? Um, so it's going to take a little bit of legwork up front, but hopefully you guys will use the simple system to help you to achieve whatever health or body that you're looking for, whatever type of finances you're looking for, or relationships, guys. But here's the thing, don't you know? just watch this video and say, oh, that's so cool, Coach Jeff. I want you to take action and take action right away because I know everybody out there has the potential to be the best person that they can possibly be. All right, guys, enjoy.